Hi, my name is Terry Dumont Tavasoli and welcome to my electrical training channel. If you found this video informative, you can help me rank higher on YouTube by hitting the subscribe and like buttons. Please comment below and let me know if you have any suggestions for our future videos. Here I'm just going to show you different types of capacitors. Um, here I've got an electrolytic capacitor. And usually they're like cylindrical shape like this, different sizes. You can have huge sizes. Uh, usually the big ones are electrolytic. Big capacitors in this kind of shape with a cylindrical shape. It doesn't matter what size they are. Usually uh, you'll find them they are electrolytic. And another indication is that they have polarity and they usually indicate the negative pin. Uh, here you can see a, a gray line with arrows pointing to this pin, which is your negative. And if you bought them new, the negative pin is usually shorter than the positive pin. So that's another indication. And they write on them the value of the capacitor, for instance, in this case is a thousand microfarad with 25 volts working voltage. Uh, so that's your electrolytic. These are different, again, electrolytic again, but different sizes. Still cylindrical, but the pins are coming from either side of the capacitor, as you see. Uh, but then again, you have the arrows pointing to the negative. And that's your negative. This is your positive. Uh, again, cylindrical shapes. These are again smaller size electrolytic capacitors. So that's again negative is indicated by a gray arrow or shorter pin, shorter leg, and the longer leg is your positive. The same applies to this one. That's just a hundred microfarad. This is a, a one microfarad. Sorry, 10 microfarad. <clears throat> and then we come to different types. Uh, the types of the capacitors are identified by the material used as the dielectric between the plates. So if the dielectric between the plates are chemical, usually, uh, which is electrolytic ones, uh, you have to observe the polarities of them because uh, you can explode them. But with the other ones, uh, they don't have polarities like this one. They, these are uh, ceramic uh, and mica types and, or tantalium ones. And these are all different types. For different sizes, you can get different types and different working voltages. Um, you can see it, it just writes on them the values usually in picofarad you have to convert it to microfarad if you want or just leave it as that. Uh, reading of them is a different thing. I'm just showing you here how many different varieties you can have. And that's a 470 picofarad or 0.47 microfarad. And this one is 0.1 microfarad or 100 nanofarad. Again, you can see the light, lovely and uh, smooth looking like Smarties. You just want to eat them. <laughs> and also we have what we call a variable capacitor. As you can see, you have um, an axis here or a shaft that you can turn and change the size of the capacitor. In this case, you have three pins instead of two. So the middle one is your middle point, middle uh, plate, and then you have two other plates either side of it with plastic sheets or sometimes air as your dielectric. As you turn this knob, you're increasing or decreasing the common 
surface area between the plates so you're increasing or decreasing and that's how you're increasing and decreasing the capacitance or the size of the capacitor these are usually used for tuning into stations for radios and you know different um, tuning instruments like tuning into radios usually radio stations and that's different types of capacitors for you uh. right i hope you enjoyed this lesson and learned something new today if you've enjoyed this lesson or you've got any questions or suggestions don't hesitate to drop a comment down there and i'll get back to you as soon as i can it will be me not my secretary I'll see you again with another exciting electrical or electronic training video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and share these videos so we can rank higher. Our existence depends on you. Well done and keep up the good work. I'll see you again next time with another exciting lesson and a training video.